So the question is what is a register? Explain how 4-bit register with data, load, clear and clock input is constructed using D flip-flop. Okay. So what is meant by a register? Register can be defined as a group of flip-flops. So register consists of a group of flip-flops with a common clock input. The registers are commonly used to store and shift the binary data. Okay. So if you want to store 2-bit data then you require two flip-flops. Similarly, if you want to store 4-bit data, so you want 4 flip-flops, okay. So, to store n-bit data, you require n-bit data, you require n flip-flops, okay. So, the question here is 4-bit D flip-flop with data, load, clear and clock input, right. So, 4-bit register. So, you require 4 different flip-flops, okay. D flip-flop. So, I have taken flip-flop 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so D0, D1, D2, D3 are the data, input data and Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3 are the output data. So the clear signal is given by your CLRN, CLR clear. So you know that there is a bubble, that this bubble designates that it is logic 0. Normally the clear will be equal to 1 and if uh, it is uh, turned to 0 during the operation then the meaning is that all the register output will be cleared to zero. Next, the load and the clock is connected to the AND gate. You know that the what will be your truth table of your AND gate? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. If any one input is zero, the output will be equal to zero. If both the inputs are high, you will be getting the output to be high. So here you know that the clock is equal to one. Now if you, you have two cases, right? If load is equal to zero, what happens case 1 if load is equal to 0 what will uh, uh, what will happen the register will not be clocked because if any one input is equal to 0 your output is going to be 0 so the register is not clocked and holds its presence value and the register will hold its present value okay whereas in the case of uh, second case what happens when the load is equal to 1 the clock is transmitted to the flip flop and uh, the data will be applied to the D input, okay. The data will be loaded into the flip-flop during what uh, pulse, during the, here it is bubbled, so it is during the negative triggering pulse, okay, or the during the falling edge of the clock. So, for example, the example given here is the data in is equal to 1101. One, one. So, previously, initially the register is uh, cleared so that all your values output is equal to 0 okay so now when the load is equal to 1 what will happen the output data will be shifting from your 0, 0, 0, 0 to so this arrow mark indicates shifting okay so this will be q3 q2 q1 q0 so it will be shifting to 1 0 1 1 this will be your data out okay so this is your simple operation of your 4-bit data flip-flop with data, load, clear and clock input. Now in this case you know that the clock and the load is given, the load is given along with the clock in the, with the help of your AND gate. There, it, uh, it, there is a disadvantage that it gives uh, uh, timing errors. In order to avoid the timing problem, if you have a clock enabled signal, you can modify the circuit. Uh, by this uh, diagram for example so now the what is the only modification you are going to give the load and the clock separately the load will be given to a clock enabled signal c stands for clock enabled all the remaining things are the same so see here instead of using an and gate you are giving clear n will be given there is no difference in any other data data input data output and clear now only difference is the load and the clock is given separately see the clock will be given separately which will be uh, activated during the falling edge and then now what happens to your load load will be given to the clock enabled so here also what happens uh, you have two conditions when load is equal to case one okay when load is equal to zero what will happen the register holds the data because the clock is disabled right disabled the register holds the data holds the data previous data now when uh, case 2 what happens when the load is equal to 1 load is equal to 1 
so when load is equal to 1 the clock will be enabled and what happens the data will be entered and in the output you will be getting the shifted data that is 1101 so this will be your working principle of your D flip flop using your load clear clock signals okay